This is beautiful to look at. Going to the water, it's not beautiful. And the goal is to try to find a way to bring that beauty back. And in Antigua and in the Eastern Caribbean in particular, one of the major invasive species is the lionfish. There's nothing on the reef that looks like a lionfish. The lionfish uh, have no predators and the reef fish don't have it in their DNA to recognize them. When you see a lionfish, it's like, holy cow, what is that? They're just going to keep growing. They're going to keep multiplying at, a, at an unbelievable rate. Like, okay, there's, there's something up with this fish. And they're just going to eat more and more of those fish that maintain those corals. It has those stripes. It has these real long spines. It screams danger. Lionfish are just out there wreaking havoc. No one's catching them. It's just, it's not a fair fight. We're not winning this battle. We're doing okay, <laughs> but we're not winning. And they recommended that we host a lionfish derby. It's one of the most sustainable catch because it's an invasive species. It's also an incredibly delicious fish. Eat them to beat them. And so getting divers in the water, especially getting some of the commercial fishermen here, collecting lionfish, connecting them with the chefs, making a cash incentive, I think that's how we start to get fish out of the water. And then literally before sunrise on Friday and Saturday morning, these amazing hunters and teams were out there hitting the water. It's the fun of it. It's the fun to get going and to be out there. We win something fantastic. We don't win anything. So is life. <laughs> Absolutely not easy. It's definitely, the, the sea is, can be quite vicious on the Atlantic side. It's a little eye-opening to see the, the I guess, the, the population numbers here in Antigua being so high. And I believe this story will go on to be told to others who, hopefully it will inspire them that they can do something.